We're gonna be doing some readings. Oh, we got a comment so far. Hey, just remember, Cosmic Gang, if you liked any of the decks that I used in this reading, the links to those decks will actually be in the description. The law. Well, it's Law of Fatal Attraction. I'm going to put this in the comments. Anybody who wants to join, 7, 10 p.m. Attraction uh, podcast. And then all the episodes are going to be on Anchor. So that'll be... I'll make sure I put it in the chat on the uh, podcast that we're doing later. So we're doing the Law of Fatal Attraction podcast. Tonight's topic is polygamy in spiritual communities. Hey, what's up? Yes, you did. Welcome. So I just wanted to make sure I put this in the chat so you guys have it there. Dua. Had a tune in at work. <laughs> oh my God, you're so funny. Cosmic gang gang. Cosmic gang gang. Whole lot of cosmic gang shit. <laughs> Yo, I should do the intro to my videos like that, right? That'd be my new intro. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do both. I'm going to do a quick uh, collective money reading. And then anybody who throws something on the cash app, you know, just throw a couple bucks. Nothing crazy. Not trying to break no pockets. I'll pull a couple cards for you as well. Do do. I figure why not. I figure why not have some fun. Boom. So let's start off. We're going to start off with the collective reading. Hey, hey, guys. Yo, uh, Kali, can you just put my cash app in the um, chat? For anybody who wants uh, a reading, and then I'll go back, whoever throws something on the cash app, I'll go back and make sure that I pull a couple cards. It don't gotta be a lot, y'all. Like, don't be, don't be extra. It's all good. All right. And I love, and I love being here with you guys. That's why, uh, that's why I do these lives. I put in a lot of work yesterday um, to make sure that everybody who was on the live on the warrior wednesday live which was super fun right um make sure that you guys got what's up ricky peace peace uh to make sure that you guys got what you got a little extra information and whatnot that took me a minute then i set up the account on anchor for um that's where me and um Khalid, our podcast, Law of Fatal Attraction, is going to be on there. So I, I'm just, I, I'm actually super excited about it because it's not that often that, you know, all the work I do is very, it's mostly healing stuff. So it's not that often I get to just talk shit. So it'll be fun. It'll be educational as always, but a little looser, a little more, you know, I had to come up with a show that was a little more, something that was just a little more like loose fun not too serious i mean if some people get in their feelings that'll be good for ratings i suppose um all right so thank you ancestors thank you higher self thank you spirit guides come through give us the messages that we need to keep our pockets and our bank accounts full as a motherfucker thank you ashe and that's how i do it that's my version of spirituality fuck with me <laughs> <laughs> uh okay so this one's coming up first all right everybody first card we have is the balance card let me turn this off i know i got this on like extra bright today too so the first card is our balance card oh, i was feeling bright so i put that up pretty bright and that card's been coming out a lot lately it is very important for us to be in a state of balance right now all right, impatience. Who's the Ricky? I feel like this one is specifically for you. Impatience. Um. All right. Definitely needed this. Did a money spell earlier tonight. Perfect. Wow, this is working out pretty good. Um, and thank you, Kali. I appreciate that. All right. So then, spirit really be having me just really on target with this stuff. So everybody gets the messages, receives the messages they need. And I want to talk about that Juno energy, the goddess Juno, despondence. Okay, 
this card despondence that just came up now i think balance having balance and um impatience is just something a lot of people are feeling whether you've been putting out resumes job applications uh whether you have a business whether you have like uh multiple projects going on um and you're just you know you're just like wanting things to move faster um despondence came up this card that's the impatience card but the despondence that just came up that card is resonating with me in a way that um it's like the impatience that you're feeling is causing a chaos in your it's causing chaos in your fields or in your aura this is a really good card to get actually workaholic and i got this one too when i did a reading for myself this week actually so a lot of people are starting new projects. You guys are working on some new things. You guys are um, expanding. And if you notice, these are all, we are in our higher selves because these are chakra cards. And these are all dealing with the throat and I believe the third eye. Because um, it's violet and perception, workaholic perception. All right, I'm going to pull one more. And uh, that's interesting. I'll show the perception card in a second. This is a really good message that we're getting. My crown is so open right now. It's getting crazy around here. Um, for if anyone, oh, and out of perception, we have discovery. Discovery is a good card, and this is kind of like a lesson I recently learned too. So we got discovery. Before discovery, we had the perception card. And we're ending. It's interesting. Love, root chakra, perhaps. Um, so a lot of uh people have oh, y'all are not gonna believe this shit here i am babbling away the bottom of the deck can y'all see that i don't really feel like shielding this hold on i'll just i'll turn it off again but bottom of the deck is the miracle card miracle so this is definitely a time to for that to come up and the way spirit just did me like that okay spirit i see you but this is a miracle that happens through acts of service um, to others. So essentially what you're putting out, how you're serving others, how you love, how you love right now is going to affect your money. Okay, y'all. Um, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I got to stop cussing so much. Patience, patience, hey. All right, let me look at some of these. Balance card. I love my little, my little book. I'm going to only look at the short versions of this because I see what Spirit's already doing. And Spirit's telling me to pull from the runes for y'all also. Maybe just two runes, though. All right. Whoops. I got to go one more. There we go. Nope. Here we go. Balance. All right, reluctance to change. Uh, you may be hesitating because of the past, but that doesn't mean you should be hasty. Weigh all sides before moving forward. This can mean the start of a relationship proceeds slowly. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, I think that the main thing that I'm feeling right now is a reluctance to change. And in this balance card, the story goes off. And because they think they're going to have this great future, they think they're going to have this great reality, and they forget about the people who have been there for them, who have loved them, who have supported them, um, you know, through their journey. So it's not a time to just get rid of the people in your life who are no longer supporting you, but don't think that you've transcended to such a state that those who have been faithful and loyal to you, that you can just throw them away and you're going to replace them with new people, with new friends, with new things. Like it's not really the time to, um, to throw away these relationships with these people. Look at how mad all these motherfuckers are. Who y'all pissing off? Y'all out here wiling, wiling out. <laughs> now the impatience card, the impatience card comes up be, uh, when you're rushing what you're doing anything that's done anything that's worth it is never rushed anything that's done in a process um for example and and when you are rushing something because you feel you need to have it you're actually dealing in a poverty mindset anything worth manifesting anything great and i know my soul family is great you guys are some 
illuminated bright souls that have uh these big destinies so um yeah from what i from what i've seen um impatience comes up because you want things to manifest faster but spirit has or your higher self has a different way trust me guys your higher self will throw you for a loop you will be in a situation be in a place be around people that you would have never imagined that that would have been your calling or your um you would have never imagined that like like wow i'm here i didn't think i would be here and i think 2020 is going to be a year where all those seeds that you planted don't rush the process of growing them it's about being in the flow and being in the process removing the blocks um before i got on this live i did a meditation and I do a meditation, a short one at least. Uh, I do a long one at least once a day, but I do short ones throughout the day because I find that it, it just helps me stay more balanced and connected. So um, so I do that to keep me in constantly in the flow because I'm always working on so much. I have, um, well, we have the podcast we're doing tonight. I had to set up everything for that yesterday. Then um, I have something, a couple of my sis stars have been wanting lessons on how to read cards. So I'm actually coming up with a mini course that it's going to be a PDF. It'll have videos and everything embedded into it. Uh, but it's going to be a mini course um, on how to actually read cards and a little bit in there about my journey and how I actually went from um, only being able to write or scry basically uh, to actually being able to communicate with spirits without cards and, and being able to communicate and draw messages for my higher self and even for other individuals without the cards. But the cards, they're a great tool because they actually teach you how to sharpen your intuition and psychic abilities and all that's going to be in there. So let's talk about despondence. Now, despondence was sticking out for me a lot for you guys. You see how she's pregnant. That pregnancy could be an idea. It could be a relationship. For some of you, it's a uh, uh, career-wise. I see like a business suit. I see some. It's very work-related. Um, more like a very business sort of environment, where something new is coming out of that. But you're having your your sort of um, suffocating the birth of that through your own anxiety. So something new is coming to you. You feel it coming like a pregnancy, like when you're nine months old, you feel a new world being birthed for you. But instead of just being calm and going with the flow, sometimes your melanin makes you do that though. I'm not gonna lie, like our melanin, we, we have to learn to sort of like wrangle it in because it is pure chaos. But your melanin makes you, um, makes you seek the creation of problems and issues um, because you're creative naturally so whatever you're into whatever you're focused on your melanin will naturally create so if i decide that i want to focus on a problem melan my melanin will create that problem and make it bigger and make it like way more just way more outlandish than it needs to be and it's just the power of that's what that chaos that's what that dark energy does um so instead you could take that that's one way it could work and that's the unconscious way that many of us um have melanin working through us now the conscious way that you can take that and you can take that and study you could take that and create oh my god some of you are so good at science some of you need to be inventors you can some of you definitely need to be inventors there's a two brothers and maybe a sister on this live stream right now that needs to be inventing things um so so create that way create stories um create movies create music create that way um even create structure and that's what i kind of specialize in i i love structure i get like like other people might find it boring to create different streams of income and oh i have to do this for this one and i have to do i get like excited from it so everybody's just different now workaholic I want to read a little something from the book because this card is actually a good omen. Um, that one is a lot of people are focused right now on what they are expanding their consciousness and their awareness. Um, and, and your hard work is actually going to pay off. 
Um, that card is actually low key like a blessing. And you see how it's creative. But in order to create, we always have to remember that we have to be living life as well. Uh, so workaholic. Here, the earthly brown of creation mixed with uh, mixed with inspirational violet. A card indicates one of the most powerful manifesting energies. Okay, and whoever just did their um, do a con, you just did a um, you just did a ritual, didn't you? A manifesting ritual. So you're right in alignment with the energies. Um, now you are very prolific. If what you are creating stalls, you may need a recharge. Exactly. Ex ex literally perfectly said um you may need to recharge know your limits so it's about not overdoing it even when you feel like you're not doing a lot you're always getting something done and stay in alignment with those particular energies perception is a big one perception is a huge one because your perception and it's in the heart it's in green so that's dealing with the heart chakra who's not clearing out their heart chakra huh who's not doing it who hasn't been looking in their heart it's funny too because i wore with crystal i got my um rose quartz on today because i was like oh i'm just feeling and i wore pink because i was like i'm just well this is for now till later i'm gonna get ready later but i figure while i'm sitting here we'll do a little something fun um okay so this is the gateway that a lot of us are stepping through right now going into 2020 a lot of astrologers have been talking about this um those who have really been focused on doing the work and those who are ready to break and change cycles, your perception at this time has an, an incredible ability to actually shift. And, and that's going to be very powerful for you specifically. Let me see something really quick. Because I like to be into these, but I want to see something while I'm doing this. Um... Okay, so um, so right now, a lot of you have the power to change your perception. What's in front of you, everything isn't what it seems. And something that may have seemed dead could be a relationship, could be a um, opportunity, um, could be a business partnership, could be somebody works with venues or I don't know weird stuff is coming up <laughs> I'm like does someone do this because <laughs> uh, I, I can feel I'm pulling but it feels far away for some reason um so at this time everything isn't what it seems so be mindful of your perception of things don't have a judgment try and stay as optimistic as possible with your own energy field and allow what is for you to come to you through that and now into going into a future energy 2020 I think this is the way I kind of want to go in leaving the past that little flower there would be like well where is it that little flower there would be like the past and you see that full moon you got wisdom in the house then this is you that beautiful cosmic being with the illuminated heart chakra which is why I said some people are having um some people their heart is actually betraying them because this perception so you're believing in something that isn't true and um, that's going to hinder a lot of what you're doing because your emotions are directly tied in with your income uh, well not always but not always but if you notice when you're in a better mood you always make more money uh, especially for those of us who work for ourselves when we're in a better mood we always make more money um so you're leaving the past behind this is definitely just there's a mountain you're going towards the future you're wide wide open for it expansive um leaving the past in the past going into uh this 2020 that's beautiful these are some great energies it really feels like 2020 is already here we're standing on the precipice of a new century or at least a new 2020 new decade new century we need to make it another what is it 80 years hmm whoa uh, i want to pull one or two runes see what we get from that and then um if you guys would like a little mini reading on live a couple cards pulled for you if you have a certain situation you need to ask 
a question about something or whatever, just throw like a couple bucks on the Cash App. I figure that'll be fun, easy. We'll have a good time doing it. Okay, we got the breakthrough rune. Let's see, that's actually really good. That's This is what I'm feeling. That's the energy right now, is these breakthroughs. Ooh, we have the separation rune. And this is with the breakthrough. You guys can make runes yourselves too, by the way. So you got this one, this one coming through. And let's pull one more because this is a story now. Oh my God. Oh, you have the self coming through as well. See, I'm starting to get to know these now that I use them all the time. I actually am remembering what the names of them are. <laughs> it took me a little bit. That's interesting. This is initiation. Breakthrough. Well, breakthrough, I think, is self-explanatory, but let's see if Spirit has another message for us. Transformation and day. You know, it says transformation and day. Do you know the name, the word day at the end of every week actually means daughter? I always thought that was interesting. Um, okay, so this is the final rune belonging to the cycle of initiation. Runes are great because they're um, the art of reading the self. So I find that like everybody, yeah, it does. It does feel like it's like 2020 already. Okay. And this is exactly, this is exactly in alignment with the energies. It says, um, often signals a major shift in or breakthrough in the process of self-change, complete transformation, an altitude, a hundred, uh, an altitude, an attitude. Why am I saying altitude? A um, hundred and eighty degree turn. hundred and eighty degree is literally the exact opposite. So there's going to be certain things shifting right now. Um, okay, uh, the transition is so radical they are no longer able to live the ordinary life in the ordinary way, and. So you don't block that because that's what the despondence card is about. Um, it's almost like those all those vines and stuff were like a cage or like is trapping you. But those vines represent your own vibration and frequency being out of alignment because what's coming to you is so great. And you've been in such a such a state of despondence or struggle or like you're not you're not used to things coming easy for you. You're the kind of person that 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 you know works really hard and and only gets a little and you're used to it being that way and and spirit is saying it doesn't have to be that way anymore so it's really about learning to pull back a little bit and be more more quiet or more in a flow with the vibration and then just learn to receive uh receiving is an action so you learn to receive and accept what is coming for you and to you and even connecting with your higher self and asking your higher self to show you where the blockages are so that you can remove them so that you can neutralize them so that you can be ready for everything that is coming into your life um, at this time so let's see partnership oh I said separation see I'll be learning these still partnership that could be a business partnership I love this room a romantic partnership perhaps both if some of you have a um partnership a gift yep this is a gift coming right after this breakthrough well, this breakthrough is already happening for a lot of people um there is just in its first stages okay okay partnership of some form is at hand self-explanatory in love relationships and business matters and partnership of and partnering of every kind you are put on notice not to collapse yourself into that union. For a true partnership is achieved only by separate and whole beings who retain their separateness, even as they unite. Remember to let the winds of heaven dance between you. That is pretty dope. Pretty dope. All right, look. And uh, Gibo rune of partnership has no reverse, for it signifies the gift of freedom, which I don't use the word freedom, I use liberty. From which flow of all other gifts. Look at that. To catch these blessings, catch these gifts. And then the last one is the self, which is 93. Let's check it out. The starting point is the self. Oh, this is beautiful. This is like alpha, um, this is like alpha, uh, the alpha and omega. Sorry, my mouth is like wet as fuck right now. 
shit is kind of weird. That did not help at all. <laughs> the starting point is a self. Its essence is water. Only clarity, willingness to change is effective now. Exactly. A correct relationship to yourself is primary. For from it flow all possible right relationships with others and with the divine. Remain modest. That's the Oracle's counsel. Ow. Uh, <laughs> anytime I hear the word Oracle, that's my response. Don't get, don't be alarmed. <laughs> All right. Uh, be in the world, not of it. And yet do not be closed, narrow, or judging. Rather remain receptive to impulses flowing from the divine with, in, and without. Strive to live the ordinary life in a non-ordinary way. Yeah, this is. This is some good ass energy coming in. I don't know about y'all, but I am claiming this. So right now is a time of just really allowing and really getting out of our own way. Keep working on your projects. Keep doing what you're doing. Um, a good way to stay in the flow of manifesting without getting in your own way is to be in the, um, this is actually something, a quote from, if you guys ever heard of that channel, Bashar, this is a quote from him. Uh, Daryl channels Bashar. Bashar is a fifth dimensional entity, I think. Anyway, so um, this is a quote from him that always stuck with me. And the quote was, um, abundance is just doing what you need to do when you need to do it. So if you look at it that way, we can start to get into the process instead of getting stuck in what's in your bank account, what you do or don't have or whatever, because when you get stuck in what you do or don't have, what happens? What happens, class? <laughs> no, seriously, uh, what happens? You get paralyzed, right? And then you get a sense of fear, and then in that fear, you, um, you tend to really, in the fear, you tend to forget who you are. And the, the gift is in the doing because in the doing we don't succumb to the fear to the um to the vibration of scarcity to the vibration of lack to the vibration of oh i can't have what i want or i can't do what i want to do um as we're coming into this new vibration this new reality a lot of you have been doing your inner work a lot of you have been on on target and on point with all of this and it's showing and you 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 are rewarding yourself for it you why would you think that the divine is something separate from yourself it is who you are you are who it is so uh quote from the bible these quotes from the bible that be coming up be making me laugh but they but i read the bible like six times when i was a kid so they come up from, from um time to time <laughs> when uh when i'm when i'm in a message but the quote is, uh, me, uh, I, I and my father are one, or like me and my father are one. So when you look at it that way, I wouldn't look at the divine as a dude or one, maybe androgynous, but you and your higher self are one. And in this room book, they had a good quote too, where um, they were like, what was the quote? The quote was, if as if the if as above so below holds true then we then as the divine nourishes us like we nourish the divine so you nourish god or your higher self as it nourishes you so everybody talks about doing these rituals and stuff to all these different deities and stuff that's just spreading your energy out When's the last time you did a ritual or offered energy or offered communication to your own higher self? Who's really doing all the work for you while you're down here? Who's really, who really has the higher perspective, who really sees everything? When's the last time you did that? No. Then you offered it to Oshun. No, no, no hate to Oshun because she's, she's a pretty cool chick, but... I'm just saying, instead you offered it to Shango. Instead you offered it to Shaitan or Satan or however the fuck you say his name. Lucifer. Instead you offered it to the Goetia. 
Instead, you offered it to uh, Kali. Kali, you don't have to, well, I don't have to offer her shit. That's my girl. We sit, we talk. Um, and while it's okay to partner with some of these deities to work with their energy, so that because you really learn a lot from them, um, you're leaving your own self out of the mix all the time. You even send more more offerings to your ancestors than you do your own your own energy. So that's just an idea. Um, okay. So there's one last thing I want to chat about. And then I'm going to get off. What is this? All right, Brian. Brian, if you're in the chat, say what's up. So I can pull a couple cards for you. Oh, that was you with the cash app? Okay, got you. All right, let me pull you a couple. My, my weefy went out. Thank you, by the way. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see what spirit, which card, which deck spirit wants me to pull for you. Ah, uh, what was your, oh, you probably don't, uh, don't worry about telling me your question. I don't really need to know. All right, let's do it. Spirit said dragon deck, and I think I know why, because I think that an aspect of who you are is going to come up in this. Let's see if I'm right. It's always the fun part. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what you got. Here. That fell. That's interesting. But I'm not going to. Let me clear these cards too. Sorry, I was aggressive, right? <laughs> all right. Who's... All right, somebody else is next. I want to see who this is. Tell me. Cash app so I could give them a reading. If you guys do did hit the cash app, because it looks like I had two people hit it. Um, I got the first person, the second person. Just let me know in the chat. Um, yeah. All right. If you're not into music, you should be. You got the fire and water dragon. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're really in the vibration, right, of everything right now. This is for, um, a lead. Interesting. I'm going to pull these cards up in a second so you can see it. Okay. Ah, yes, I knew this shit was going to come up. You're a motherfucking Syrian. And I fucking knew it, too. Okay, Erica, I got you. Erica's next. Oh, Okla Lawan, did I always fuck up your name? I knew it. I was like, yo, this shit is going to come up because this motherfucker's a Syrian. So you're from the stars, the, okay, so right now, the first uh, card that came up was the fire and water dragon, and it says, enables you to flow with loving force, prepare for change and move forward quickly, expect the unexpected, have fun. I, I get the feeling that you're, you're in a, either more of a Sagittarius vibe, or a Sagittarius vibe. Or you're in Aries or something like that. Or there's a lot of that fire energy in your chart. Um, it's just like that that energy, that playfulness. Sagittarius, uh, Aetarians are so much fun. And I get that vibe from you, that you're playful, that you're fun, that you're, um, you know, always moving forward in life. And right now, you're having a time where everything is changing for you very quickly, whether you realize it or not. I think what will happen is that you won't realize that things have changed. Like one day you'll wake up and look back and be like, yo, I remember. Oh, I can feel this for you, baby. I feel it in my heart. Um, I remember that time two years ago when I was this different person in this different place. And I'm so grateful that things are different now. Wow. 
oh man, the more spiritual I get, the more I cry on camera. It's just like I feel it that like you went through so much and that you're coming to a victory now. And I'm, I'm really happy for you. Um, all right. So we got Thor's red, black and gold dragon. So this is just your higher self letting you know that you're protected. I'll protect you in times of change, a time of rapid transition and transformation. And then it says, relax, you are safe. And then the other one was have fun. So those are your main, like your underlying messages, have fun chill out you're safe you're protected okay now this is where you're from and i think that that's incredible but somebody is a and i had a feeling when i pulled it i was like yo i feel like this card is gonna come out but i can't say we gotta see what the cards say um somebody's a syrian look at that i got a syrian on deck Brings universal knowledge to your spiritual pathway. Learn about spiritual technology. Be a transmitter of sacred knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it has you holding the keys, too. Um, there is something in the, the book that I want you to know about that is in regard. Because you might want to start researching um, that star system more. Since that's part of your cosmic lineage. Let me see where this card is. Uh, because they And they talk about it. A little bit in this book and that'll help you moving forward and you're here with a mission you're here to really bring a new light or a new aura see that into the world you got the keys to the kingdom so to speak now where is this thing in here that's why I don't even use this book that much it'd be too much but I really want to get this to you because there is some information in here that I didn't know about Sirius and you are a Syrian which is probably why the cards are reminding you just to relax and have fun because Syrians tend to be very serious <laughs> uh, well they are from the star system Sirius so uh, 88 all right let's see what we got 88 okay so let me see if I can find it. These dragons are cosmic travelers. Like all dragons help move through dimensions, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you, oh, an intergalactic master. There's something here. Oh, here we go. Uh, within the inner planets of the star system of Sirius and its ascended aspect, Lukume, Luc there are renowned universities attended by beings from the entire cosmos. So look up that ascended aspect, Lukame, L-A-K-U-M-A-Y. Um, that I didn't know about until I actually started reading these cards and reading the little notes and stuff in this book. But that might be something that's tied in with a past life. And some of your past lives, are, uh, now I'm starting to channel. Some of your past lives may be coming up in your dream world, actually. Um, yeah, because you are a traveler and you tend to, um, you tend to walk, like walk through the stars, how I could explain it the way you ask, you do, you ask to travel a lot the way that I do. Um, yeah, so that's part of your lineage. Now I want to learn, let me pull one of these. I want to see something else with you and then I'm going to move on to Erica. Because I'm sure Erica has things to do. Um, okay. All right, done. All right. So let's see what you got here, sweetheart. We're going to finish off, and then we're going to move on. And I'm going to just pull one or two from here, and then we'll move on to Erica. Because you got, you got some good stuff going on with you. You're very bright. All right service okay oh, okay that's interesting okay let's see what else spirit has here grief yeah that was what you which you were moving past at this time and the grief served the purpose to um illuminate your heart chakra beloved so it wasn't it wasn't anything that was meant to last for you and then you have impasse so the past is you have actually angels that are protecting you now I, see what came up twice for you aqua aqua not whatever i'd be fucking up your name but you see how i this card came up because this is actually an angel in this particular deck this is an angel and they're both in the in the um 
sacral, which is dealing with your creativity or your creative and your life force energy. So you're guarded. Your life force is guarded and protected. And sometimes you might get annoyed because you have a block. But what it is, is that there's a block in order to protect you from something worse happening. We also have service here. And these here, oh wait, this side. These here are like ancestors that are um, protecting you. And I feel these are with you very strong. So a lot of the time you have these ancestors with you um, for guidance. Sometimes they're just there. If you want them to leave, you can tell them to go. Um, so yeah, and then this is just dealing with that, that heart chakra there really came up. That was just dealing with what you dealt with in the past, but you're moving past that. It's a new day and I'm happy for you. All right, let's move on to Erica. Erica. Dragons or runes? Hmm. Let me see what spirit wants me to do for you. Let's look. Yes, Luke May. Ah, uh, home chilling. Hey, what's up, prima? How dare you come in the chat and not, or come in the live and not say hello? Uh, we're doing some um readings. If you throw something on the cash app, uh, I'm just pulling some cards for my peeps. Don't have to be nothing crazy. Right, let's see what we got here. Girl, girl, Erica, Erica, what you been doing? First card, first card, okay, what have you been up to? Okay, that solar plexus is working. I hear you. Okay, okay, sis. Okay, sis. <laughs> Getting these coins. It's, this is a, a card just letting you know to be wise. You're already good with money, though. So, okay, so, uh, dissipating. This might be in regards to um, old habits and things of that nature actually going away at this time. I'll be having to turn this off. This light be too damn bright. Um, so, and I want you to, fo even though you are... <laughs> getting the bag currently sis is getting the motherfucking bag okay she's doing her goddamn thing and that's the shit i like to see oh okay what's up prima all right but dissipating is reminding you not to let go of your purpose of your soul of your um of your joy don't make plans and not finish them um, oh, shit. And I, I'm going to read a little more into that card in a sec. I want to see what else we get. Hold up. I'm being called to shuffle right now. But this is, this is so much fun. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, right here. Oh, victim. And I think this is a past energy. Wow, this is a... Okay, okay. I actually got a channel on that. That's interesting. That's dealing with some trauma. But it feels like trauma that's from ancestors or from loved ones that passed. It's like you took on their trauma. So, sis, you're going to have to... Well, you don't have to do it, but what, what it is is what you're feeling. Sometimes you have emotions that you don't understand and you don't know where they're coming from because like nothing happened to you in that moment. And it's coming from the trauma from others because you're so compassionate. You tend to take on other people's um, emotions and feelings of trauma and, and pain. And you have that saved. So there's some inner child work coming up. Also, that's interesting. You see, that's really connecting, reconnecting with the inner child. Also, you may have some ancestors and things that are around you at this time. And I mean, this is a good time. You're, this is a lot dealing with the um, solar plexus. Whoops. So I find that kind of interesting, too, that you're dealing with the solar plexus so much. Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Of course. Oh, that's why. Mama, come over later. Um, I might have a client. I'm doing, I'm doing a couple's reading working with couples like couples are so much fun um around 8 30 but if you want to hang out after that just let me know we can hang out for a little while uh we got rejection 
but look, you keep getting all these cards where it's like all these Erica, where all these like ancestors and stuff are popping up. You see how there's ghosts and stuff? So you got a lot of energy around you. And I think that victim stuff is coming from actually, you know, mama bears, uh, 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 um, energy that she needs cleared from her auric field. Um, which you can do a ritual and clear it. You can sage, you can just channel her or talk to her or write a letter to her and in order to release the energy sweetheart because that's what your um that's what that victim energy is i know you've had your own issues and things or we you know we all have shit that happens to us as part of life but um spirit just wants you to know that not all of it is yours it's not all of it is your burden to carry um rejection card that's dealing with your art let me pull out look spirit then gave you a whole spirit was like girl and you have gratitude at the end okay this is a nice little resolution we got a pregnancy and what are you pregnant with an idea a project and you see how in dis um in despondence these these look crazy and they're all over the place but in this one, sweetie, they're growing. They're growing in love. So that's interesting. All right, let's go through these cards because this is a lot to unpack because my girl, my sister is very complex. She's very complex indeed. She's a complex woman. All right, so abundance is given. You're getting the bag right now. You're really, I mean, having... Uh, with work, with ideas, with the abundance is flowing in. That's, that's, that's the easy part. <laughs> and, um, the power of the mind to choose. Gold represents the power of the mind to choose. One choice may be wise, the other foolish. Choosing well may involve temporary sacrifice in order to gain your desires. Remember that you can always make a new choice. Now, dissipating I believe has to do with something that you want to manifest a dream a desire that you always had that you haven't been pursuing because you feel like there's only one way to skin a cat as far as um whatever you're doing in your life you're like well if I do this I might lose this or whatever and spirit's sort of urging you to like even if it's just a hobby even if it starts out as just something you're doing on the side or whatever like definitely pursue this dream, this this goal, this lifestyle, something in your mind that you've always wanted to grow into and be, but that you set up these blocks that you did, you weren't allowing yourself to actually um, get there, and you don't deserve that. It's time for you to really spread your wings and grow. But you have you have this choice. So, okay, allow gentle flight to your thoughts, Canary. Yellow supports the creativity and daydreaming. Perfect. Recognizing the difference between a daydream and a well thought out plan is key as creativity must be freed from its cage. Um, this is also dealing with the energy Juno when you get an inspiring idea or concept. The goddess Juno, she's the daughter of Saturn. Uh, so you get that inspiring idea or concept. This is how you bring it actually into reality is she's the daughter of Saturn. So you learn discipline. You, you learn discipline around that idea or concept. Then she, um, June, the goddess Juno is the wife of Jupiter. So luck, after, after all that discipline, luck is the culmination of discipline and hard work over, um, over um, a period of time. So then now that idea is starting to expand. Now it's starting to grow. grow. Now it's actually becoming part of your reality on a consistent basis. Then um, the goddess Juno has the sun, her son Mars, and the the sun Mars actually represents and um, the energy, the passion, the fire. That's like when someone goes viral, you know, they make a video, they're passionate about what they're talking about, and they've been doing this for ten years. No one's noticed them. Now all of a sudden they're viral, and they have you know all these deals coming in and things of that nature. So if there's something that you want to do. It, um, if it's something you're just thinking about and you're content with it being there in that dream realm, that's perfectly fine. But if it's something that you want to do, don't just daydream about it. 
figure out a plan to bring it into this reality. You are very, very extremely powerful and you are an extremely powerful manifester as well. So you have a lot of gifts. You, you have a lot that you could bring to the world. You can do pretty much anything. So now it's like just choosing what is it that you really would, would want to do? What is it that just, that just makes your heart just makes you, you know, makes you just so amazingly invested in life. Um, so we have victim. To grow into a tree, a planted acorn must be fully brown. A green acorn is an indicator that you may need grounding and a more solid plan. Look, it's the same thing to achieve what you truly desire. Are you trying to create something before you're ready to do so? Wow, that's a double message. So boom, that was that one. Yup, yup, it's time to get into the strategy. Now let's see what Fast Aid, wow, Spirit is dealing with you today, girl. Personal comfort comes with this metallic energy. A deep need to discover your true self. Okay, you're on an inner journey right now. Earthly values and care for others are also represented. Being cut off from feelings may be a challenge. Recover who you are and rethink your journey. Yeah, so this is the, um, Erica, this is going to be the healing aspect, the inner child work, the healing aspect of your, I'm so happy this spirit brought you to this live today because these are some deep messages. It's, this, it's the healing aspect of your work that you're doing that really brings everything else into alignment because you're, you're really becoming like, and I've been feeling like this lately too. So we're totally like on the same wavelength with this. Um, oh, I love you, girl. I love you. Anyway. Um, so we're on the same wavelength with this. Like, um, it's almost like sometimes you look in the mirror and you're like, Oh, who, like, who is this person? Or you like, you just realize that you're a different version of yourself, but it's almost like you're being reintroduced to yourself and like you've never known yourself this way before. So that's what this card is um, is is really showing that you're having this metamorphosis where it's like you're going from the caterpillar to the butterfly, but in the chrysalis stage, everything breaks down and, and, and builds back up. So that's the really scary part. And that was those, those times you, where you look in the mirror and you're just like, <laughs> and you're just like, who am I? What am I? Um, what's happening? And like, and like, it's not like you don't like yourself. It's like you love it, but you're like, you've never been this person before. So it's really exciting. Um, okay. So the next card is rejection. And then we got, we got the artist here. Rejection is a protection. Oh, I need to put that on a t-shirt. Y'all heard that? That came out smooth, right? Rejection is a protection. It is though. Uh, you no longer need to prove yourself. Oof, claim it. Uh, this is about understanding who you are and what you have created. Ivory allows um, others into your life. Choose wisely. Okay, so you're, br you're bringing more people in. Now, the thing is, this is a future energy. I mean, the energy of people coming in right now is a right now energy. That's going to be for a while. The future energy is actually looking at what you have created because you're create you're in the process of creating right now. Um, but yeah, I've been getting this too. I I got a lot of new, you know, some new faces, some new faces, kicking out some old faces, and then and then this card here, gratitude. We'll end with that. Um let's get on that tea. Kali's all about it. He's all about the t-shirts. Okay. Gratitude. You are capable of more than mere mortal conversation. Uh, this is the time of enlightened communication, and you will raise the consciousness of others. Okay, and I think, what, is purple one of your favorite colors? Um, facts, pin it. <laughs> I have so many, like, shirts in my head that I really need to just do. Um... This is a time of enlightened communication, and you will raise the consciousness of others. You are stepping into self-mastery. The gifts you see in others already live within you. Boom. And that's what this, this is so much fun. So if do a live reading, if anyone else who's still on, throw something on the cash app. I don't care if it's five bucks, two bucks, three bucks, whatever. Just throw something on and let's get it popping. Um, this. 
this is where we end up with you, Erica. Gratitude. End up in a place where you see how this lady is pregnant. That's like pregnant with a new life, with the new possibilities, with the with the with friends around you that are loving and supporting your ideas and your concepts. Um, yeah, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming home to you. And this color purple is very significant for you as well. Um, I don't know if purple is one of your favorite colors, but this particular time in your life where you're growing into this new being and you're and you're creating this new reality and this new life this color purple happens to be very significant it's, it's more that, that certain vibration is more in alignment with like your true nature that love that exists inside of you that now is is coming forward to be expressed to the world ah that's mom's favorite color yeah that came through hard purple i'm like yo that purple is coming through I have girl, uh, you know what the whole thing? Let me know when you're about to end the feed. I'm hanging shelves, but I want one. I was gonna end it soon, so you're hanging shelves. All right, we'll talk a little bit about this Juno thing for a few minutes till my cousin comes back. Cause she gotta hang shelves <laughs> with the kids. You got that little little. I love your daughter. She's so cute. Um. Wow, so many new. So many new energies and alignments. This is great, yo. I'm just loving the way that spirit and that our higher selves and that source is opening everything up for us. You know, hit the hit the chat with an Ashe if you know you're not trapped here. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with an Ashe myself. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been feeling lately, and that's why I decided I said, you know what, before I do this, um. Let me go on live, do a general reading for the day. What is about to come up? What am I feeling right now? Passion, that's me. <laughs> that's funny. Every time this card comes up, I'm like, this is me right now. Gossip, ow. Shout out to the haters. Shout out to you, baby. Abundance, boom. Damn, son. All right, now I'm doing a reading on myself and shit. Let me chill. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. All right. Who? <laughs> I gotta get people's names right. Yo, I be fucking it up. My bad, y'all. How I started doing a reading on myself, though. I'm like, oh, these are the cards that always come out for me. Trickery. And I'm not even mad, but look, because trickery came out with the dragon card. I'm not even mad at that. I, I am a trickster from time to time. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, impatience, which this is a fading vibration now. I really haven't been feeling that lately. Ah, oh, I'm so thankful. Let's see what we got. Oh, a miracle. Ow. I'm claiming this because my life is a miracle. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> How I did a whole reading on myself just now. I was like, I'm gonna pull out some of these cards. Um, all right, y'all, I gotta get off the live. It is three o'clock, 3.30. If anybody's gonna be around tonight, make sure, uh, let me see if I can grab the link just one more time. Please let me not fuck this up. Okay, good. Yes, I'm gonna grab the link one more time, the Law of Fatal Attraction. Me and Mr. KBD, KDB. KDB, did I do it right? Did I say it right, Khalid? Anyway, me and Khalid are going to be doing this. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to actually do some research on some of our, our favorite conscious community figures and uh, what they've been talking about as far as uh, polygamy and all that uh, goes. We're also going to go into the history of polygamy because I got some, I got some concepts on that. See? I be fucking up at everybody. Yo, I swear I'm not good with names. Shit is fucked up. Uh, but we're going to be going into some concepts and things based on that. And based on the polygamy aspect, I'm going to get some research done. Some stuff that maybe some of you guys didn't know about polygamy and about polyamory. 
um, some quotes and things from some of our favorite spiritual teachers and guides and uh, just analyzing the lifestyle, analyzing, you know, the positives and negatives of it. That's going to be our talk tonight at seven. Oh, okay. All right, Prima. Um, at 710. All right, we got to do one more reading if my cousin uh, needs one. Y'all know I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, not let my cousin get a reading. Um, so it's 7, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be talking about all that. That's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm actually kind of excited for it. Keeping it loose. And you know what? I might, I might go and just grab me um, some, because I actually don't use tarot cards often, but I do know. I actually studied every single card and know the history of the cards and whatnot. Something that that I feel like I, I don't know. I feel like I just got to do my due diligence, you know. What the hell? All right, cuz. Let me know when you're back, cuz. Let me clear these two. Clear this deck. My camera gonna fuck around and shut up, shut off on us. All right. She's back. She's back. Thank you, cuz. Um... All this is actually going to go towards uh, the materials for the uh, spiritual baths that I'm putting together. So it'll be it'll be fun, and that that's actually going to go towards a giveaway that I want to do. Because the first two baths that I create, I'm going to do a giveaway for them. Um. Oh shit! Cuz, what you been doing? Your first card. I got to turn the light off. Soulmate card. Okay, somebody's living their best life. Mmm. That can mean something else, though, too. I'm going to check it out. Oh, you got the gratitude card also, which is good. That's beautiful. That energy is pretty strong right now. It's got, like, an aura. It's got like an aura to it right now. What the hell? Let me shuffle these bad boys one more time. Energy definitely has an aura to it right now. Um, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Cause you've been. Oh, I love you, girl. You got impatience too. I think that's just with the kids. Expansion. I felt that. I felt that. Actually, I'm connecting with you while we're on this live, and I'm kind of in your auric field low-key. And you see how she has the magic or she has the gift? That's sort of you right now. Like, you're the magical one. I mean, all these spirits and stuff, it's not that you're offering them anything. They're coming to you because they need you more than you need them right now. So that's really this magical, dreamy. You're sort of in a, a, Pisc a Piscean, uh, dreamy sort of energy. And that's interesting because right before that, you have impatience. So it's like restriction and expansion. So you're learning about how to put up boundaries because... What is up? I might just have to straight channel for you, girl. And then you have bittersweet. This card comes up when um when we're going through uh well for me personally, this card will come up when I have a heartbreak or when I'm dealing with something, but where whatever had happened that hurt you, it ends up creating a gift for for either you for someone you love, or it's like you are giving yourself a gift later. So whatever had happened. It was for a good reason, and you actually ended up uh, having the ability to give a gift. And you have a lot of these blue cards, so I'm thinking that you've been dealing with your throat chakra a lot lately. Uh, your crown is wide open because I could feel you. I could feel you from here. 
and you move to another state is like you sitting right with me. Um, wow, this is crazy. That soulmate card is significant too. To be dealing in that energy. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. I can't make this shit up. Bottom of the deck. You see that, cuz? Wisdom. Wisdom. And that's you right now. That's you. Those two little bushes look like little entities or energies that you created um, that are with you like hardcore right now. So that's super, that's super amazing, honestly. Let's see what else we got here. We have to spawn this. This isn't for you. I don't feel it. I just want to channel. All right, cuz, I got to look up this soulmate card for you. And then I'm really actually just going to do a reading through channeling because fuck these cards. You know why? Because real Gs don't need cards. <laughs> I just use the cards for fun. Uh, this card indicates changing old communication patterns. And every one of these cards is blue. That's what I'm saying. It's something with the throat chakra. Stop. And being open to a new way of interacting, you may long, no longer be able to have conversations that don't sustain your authenticity. Okay, girl. Uh, freedom lies ahead better than you can imagine. And then we have gratitude. Let's see what we got for the gratitude. You are capable of more than mere mortal conversation. This is a time of enlightened communication and you will raise the consciousness of others. Woof. You are stepping into self-mastery. The gifts you see in others already live within you. Absolutely. And look, it's like, it's like you're the pregnant one in this. Like all those gifts and everything are like pregnant inside of you. They're inside of you. They're growing inside of you. Girl, you're fucking bright right now. That crown chakra is on 10. And I missed the fuck out of you. I got to come visit you soon. I'm going to have to take. Where you live now, I'm going to take the train or something and come over and see you. Um, your desire to create may overpower <laughs> the necessity of aligning with divine timing. <laughs> ah, that's funny. This is the impatient electric blue moon. Time to shine. Will, the time to move with the energy and not in front of it. That's because you're always ahead of your time. Being present has its own reward. And then our expansion. Your life is changing as you move away from the old way of relating to others. New people are entering your life. That's in alignment with even the general reading. That's actually like a like a, a big theme right now. A lot of people are going through. Um, you need to reach out to those who are on the same vibrational frequency. For you especially, that's, well, because you don't let a lot of people because into your reality. So, and you're very like, you know, you like to protect yourself and, and, and for you to let new people in. Okay. Let me just, let me just do this channel. Okay. So what I'm seeing right now is that you're like, um, it's like you create a dark, like a cloak. It's like you're in a room and you're in your own world and it's like a cloak and there's people knocking on the doors because there's multiple doors. You can open any of the doors you want to open. And it's like there's people knocking on the doors, but you're like a little kid and you're playing in your own world, in your own room. And you're like, I don't want to let those people in, even though the room is dark, but it's your room. It's your space. It's your reality. And you don't want to let anybody into your room, but people are knocking on the doors and, and now you're getting curious. And now you're kind of like, well, maybe I should let somebody in. Maybe I should let these people in. Maybe I should let, um, maybe I should have, you know, a, a more expanded reality. And as hard as it is for you to come out of your shell, I believe that your, your higher self is encouraging you to do this to some extent. Obviously, stay wise. Wise as serpents, right? Stay wise because that wisdom, that wisdom, and you have wisdom at the bottom of the deck. Like, it's not that you're not wise. It's that you don't trust yourself, so you inherently don't trust others. And that's really what the emotional issue that's coming up right now and you and you, you can forgive yourself for letting people hurt you. That was the message spirit is giving me. Forgive yourself for letting other people hurt you. Because you have so many beautiful beings 
and and individuals that want to connect with you that want to be a part of your life i mean this is this is like lifelong soul family connections these are that are coming in and it's going to be up to you whether you let them in or not you can proceed with caution you can take your time but you're being urged right now to not worry so much just to let things unfold how they unfold unfold and then to just be in the flow of things okay because yeah i gotta sit and channel because this is my cousin shit. <laughs> pittsburgh i'm there stop playing with me because i'm coming okay so because that was a channel from spirit for you specifically so you have to do a little um heart chakra healing See, I start getting all in your business. Like, I'm all in your business right now. Um, you have a, you have, like, a black, a uh, black spot in your heart that you have to heal. It's not big, though, because you've done a lot of the work. Do you hear voices sometimes? Or you get, like, chant your channels that way? Because I'm starting to take on your gifts now. That's how deep this shit gets, guys. Um, all right. So that was impatience. We did expansion. Let me look at bittersweet. Because that was your last card, Prima. And then I'm going to get off the live. If anybody wants a their own personal reading, you can obviously contact me or, you know, just make sure you stay in tune with the page. And when I go live and decide to do readings, throw something on the cash app and you get a reading. Um, there is an inner strength here. Always is. Helping you to rise above circumstances and do the right thing. It is time to set aside your personal agenda for the good of the group. You see group, you see how these, um, like it's like new people are coming in, but, but this is more like family and friends. The person you are becoming is capable of more than you imagine. Boom, can't make this stuff up. I gotta connect with you soon. Your energy is too crazy right now. You done fucked up the whole, you know, you done got me. Yeah, soulmate was your first card. Soulmate was your first card. Absolutely. Yeah, we well, were with your soulmate. You know that. <laughs> you and they. Everybody say hey to Aisha. Hey Aisha. Oh my God, sis, we so happy you're here. But you you got you you got um you got in at the end of the live. We're doing readings today. All right, y'all. Let me get up off this. I love you all infinitely. Right, cosmic gang gang, whole lot of gang shit, we're out.